I just woke up, I know how to solve the biggest issue you're having, which is you don't know how to think like a billionaire. Last night I had an epiphany and like I said, in the morning my mind is fresh and I wanted to share it with you, so stay tuned. Hello again everyone, I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and inspire. And I want to share with you the epiphany that I had overnight. I'm so excited about it. You know, in the news, we've been hearing uh, our fearless leader talk about, hey, we've got this thing under control. No issue, no problem. It's under control, just like Europe. It's, hey, it's going to disappear. Just like that, it's going to disappear. And he's saying this in spite of the fact that we're having record new numbers of cases. So I had to think to myself, maybe he's right. Maybe this thing is under control. Maybe my thinking is not correct. Maybe your thinking isn't correct either. Let me show you, explain to you why I say this. All right? You know, he, he's been talking about, you know, yeah, we have some small fires. We need to put out those embers. We have some embers burning. Well, I did a little research into uh, the Donald's childhood and growing up and so on and, and it explains kind of the way he's thinking so let me share some of those thoughts with you All right now you remember Humpty Dumpty you know the guy who fell off the wall he had a small balance problem Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz remember she was in Kansas she ended up in Munchkin land eh, there was a little bit of a wind issue in Kansas Pinocchio He's got a small nose challenge. R.V. Weinstein has a little bit of a socialization issue. People in the movie Jaws, you know, people on Cape Cod, they had some fish issues. From the Bible, you, you know, he grew up as a religious young man. Noah had some rain challenges. Goliath, he had some slingshot issues. You know the Tower of Babel? You remember the Tower of Babel? They had some slight communication issues. And the city of Jericho? They had some small trumpet problems. Samson? He had a bit of a haircut scenario. How about some of the, you know, um, stories that, you know, fairy tales? How about, uh, you remember the Pied Piper of Hamlin? Remember how he solved those? Help people of Hamlin solve their issue. What was their issue? They had some slight rodent concerns. Skunks, they had some fragrance concerns. Also from the Bible, how about Lot's wife from the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? Remember she looked back? She's got a slight salt problem. How about the wicked witch of the West? You remember, oh my little pretty! She had some moisture management reactions. I can still hear say, oh, my beautiful wickedness. And of course, Superman has a slight kryptonite allergy. Dracula eh, suffers from a little bit of a blood shortage. And to be more modern, how about John Connor? He's got a bit of a Terminator concern. You know, these are slight, these are slight issues. It, they're going to go away, no problem. You know, there, there's been some talk in the news recently about cognitive ability and both of our candidates are in their 70s you know Trump's in his 70s Biden's in his 70s you know and Trump has been questioning you know uh, sleepy Joe's cognitive ability he could even talk to people well you know ready to take the offensive you know being a smart politician he had himself checked out because he didn't want to be accused of having diminishing cognitive ability either so he went into Walter Reed, they did a brain scan, tested negative. The Black Lives Matter movement, they were very, very concerned about Mr. Trump. And they wanted to check out his bone structure, so they paid for an MRI. Came out negative, not a single compassionate bone in his body. You know, isn't it about time that we face the reality organized ourselves as a national unit 
and started solving this issue instead of taught instead of having a fairy tale of hey don't worry it's going to go away and because we never end a meeting on a philosophical note don't make life a fairy tale go out and take some action let's get out there and charge i'm eli's dad